Managing your finance when you have so many bills to settle and a long list of urgent needs can be frustrating. It even gets worse when your income seems so small compared to your financial problems, yet you find it hard to get out of the vicious circle. You're not alone. We all at some point face financial challenges, but it becomes a serious financial mess if you do not know how to walk your way through it. Your disposition to the challenge you're going through matters so much. If you don't see a need to take the necessary steps, you will remain where you are. If you prefer to continue to work and pay back your numerous debt for the rest of your life, you can skip this video. But if you desperately want a change in your finances, then watch this video to the end. Your financial challenges might be due to a lack of income, which might be a result of a loss of a job, unplanned huge expenses, overdue lawns, or any other reason. Your concern at this point should be how to tackle the challenge. Dwelling on the problem will not bring about a solution. Here are a few principles that can help you manage your finance and fix your financial problems. Identify your financial challenge. If you want to manage your finance properly and also tackle any financial problem that may arise, first identify the problem. A problem well identified is halfway solved. What is the cause of your current financial challenge? For how long has it been? What necessary steps do you take in the past? How can you best describe your spending habits or relationship with money? Do you have a budget that you stick to? Do you create a distinction between what is important and what is unimportant? All these are preliminary questions you must ask yourself and be able to have a clear, concise answer to each of them. Ambiguous responses will only cloud you from addressing the real problem, and no matter the effort you put in, you will always find yourself back in the mess. Identifying your financial challenge is the first principle to managing your finance and also fixing your financial problems. By so doing, you will be able to address each subcategory one after the other. If it entails making a plan and then beginning implementation, go ahead and do that. If your financial challenge is a result of a job loss, you know where to start. If you are financially challenged because of debts, you know that you will need to learn hacks on how to get out of debt quickly. Whatever the case might be, get to the root of the challenge and tackle it from the scratch. Don't keep pruning what you are supposed to root out. If you have a bad spending habit, look for ways to fix it. Begin from the basics. Identify the challenge and then know where to shoot your arrows. If you cannot identify the challenge, you might keep shooting the arrows in the wrong direction, and that will only frustrate you even more. Come up with a plan and a strategy. Now that you have been able to identify the challenge, come up with a plan and also develop a working strategy that will help you solve the challenge. Remember, you are working toward managing your finance and also fixing your financial problems. If the challenges are more than one, come up with a strategy to solve each of them. Do not leave any stone unturned. Fix the challenges one at a time. For example, if you are seeking a new job, you can decide to send out a minimum of five applications every day. If you are earning a low income, you can decide to use your free time to upgrade your skills by taking free professional courses before considering a change of job. If you are having to service a loan, you can cut off all unnecessary expenditures and channel the resources toward servicing the loan. If you have issues with your job or you lost your job, begin a new hunt for a job. If your expenditure is way above your income and you are constantly running on a deficit, look for an alternative source of income or cut down your expenses. If you spend too much on the daily running of your life, cut down the expenses. If you usually borrow to impress, begin to work within your budget. Have a plan of action. Don't take decisions spontaneously. Make sure all your decisions are planned and marked out. Remember always that the goal is to have your finance properly managed so you can save yourself from future financial crises. Look for grants or flexible loans. Perhaps you have been able to identify your challenge and discover that your current job can't meet up with your financial demands. Look for grants or flexible loans. You have a working strategy already. Explore the opportunities around. Don't limit your options. While you go about looking for a job, leverage grant options and loans. Apply for the grant. Start up a business or invest in something that can appreciate over time with little or no input from you. You don't have to pay back a grant. That way, you can plan better and set up working financial goals that will help you move your finance to the next level. Get flexible loans if you do not have access to a grant. 
Some organizations are willing to loan you money with a low interest rate. All you need to do is to get a plan on how you want to invest the sum you have at your disposal. You can get valuables that have appreciating power. While the profit on the items is going up, you can use a part of the profit to service the loan while also using a part to settle other important daily needs. Guide your spending. In addition to your plan to explore grants and loan options, guide your spending choices. If you do not take hold of your spending habits, you may end up spending the grants on things that are unimportant. And before you know it, you are back to the beginning again. If you opted for a loan, you would end up incurring more debt and eventually in a more difficult financial mess. What do you spend your money on? Temporal gratification must be put in check. Apply the principle of delayed gratification. Before you make that purchase, ask yourself if you really need it. If after 10 minutes you can convince yourself that you do, wait for another 10 minutes. Ask yourself the same question. Oftentimes, you will realize that you don't need that thing as much as you think you do. Here's another way to guide your spending choice. Go for affordable things. Quit going for luxury items or goods when you can get affordable items that will still get the job done for you. Should you need to buy a piece of jewelry or a piece of cooking utensil, go for affordable products and not items that are way above your budget. Maybe you should get this philosophy out of your mind. Expensive is not always best. Some things are priced because you and others have given too much value to them. Find alternative sources of income. Once you can curb your spending habits, the next thing to do is to look for alternative sources of income. Reduce your expenses to the barest minimum and work towards looking for alternate source of income. You might not be happy with the change and how you will need to reduce the time you spend hanging out with family and friends. But you must do this if you want to manage your finance properly and quit running into financial crises. If your monthly expenses always exceed your income, you will in no doubt keep having to loan money and before you know what's happening, you have a long list of names you need to pay back within the shortest possible time. If you think all the items on your list are important and cannot be checked out completely, look for a passive job. This would go a long way in covering some essential expenses. So, explore that idea that has been coming to your mind. Get the ball rolling. You need to get your finance in check. These passive jobs might just be something you do for a temporal period. Once you get back on your feet, you can quit doing them if you find them unnecessarily burdensome. Set deadlines. Once you have been able to find alternative means of getting income, set deadlines. Set deadlines for your loan repayments, savings, emergency funds, and so on. All your financial targets should have a deadline. Don't leave anything to chance. Don't leave any stone unturned. The essence of the deadline is not to put you under any form of pressure, but to set you on course. Once you have a deadline, you plan your money in line with the stipulated deadline. Having a deadline for a financial goal makes your goal realistic and time-bound. It keeps you focused. For example, if you earn $2,000 per month and have a savings goal of $500 in 6 months, you can effectively determine how much of your income would go into your savings. Also, if you have a debt to clear, you can set a repayment plan with a precise deadline. Having a target with a reasonable deadline is beneficial. You just need to set your mind to it and duly follow the strategies you've mapped out. Constantly review your financial progress. This is the most important aspect of financial management. If you ever want to escape falling into a financial crisis, you must learn to do a constant review of your financial progress. This might be bi-weekly, monthly, or quarterly. Just endeavor to create quality time to review your financial goals at reasonable intervals. Go through your income, expenditure, and savings. Cross-evaluate your budget with your goal card and examine if you're still on track. Doing this will help you track your progress, make necessary corrections, and even plan better. You get to know the areas where you need to cut down expenses and why you need to save even more. Above it all, your little progress and results keep you motivated. That feeling of satisfaction and inner joy can't be underestimated. When you constantly review your financial progress, you will be encouraged to go the extra mile. This might as well help you work toward investing. Though you have successfully identified the source of your financial problem, draft a strategy, explore loans and grants options, work on your spending habits, explore alternative sources of income, and set targeted deadlines. Above all, you must constantly review your financial progress to know how far you've gone. Remember, you are not alone. Many once suffered from the implications of mismanaged funds. 
The difference between those who overcame and those who didn't is the decision they took. Don't panic. You already know there is a problem. Give your head some rest but be alert. Take up necessary actions and move to the next level. If you are not disciplined, you will soon find yourself back in a bigger financial mess. While you don't need to flog yourself too hard, don't be sympathetic with yourself. Face your fears and be determined to overcome this. Be confident that you can, no matter how high the mountain. A little step at a time gets you closer to the peak. Don't sit around expecting a lift to come pick you up. You must walk your way up the hills of success. You don't want to check up on your finance after a while, only to discover that you are still in the same position. As from today, follow these rules, incorporate them into your lifestyle, and get yourself out of that financial mess. If you don't fix yourself, nobody will. Thanks for watching.